Let's explore a single manometer example. In this example, we have a plastic tube filled with water. We will blow into one end of the tube, and we want to measure the amount of pressure that we blow. If the manometer has a greater water height on the end open to the atmosphere, that means that the weight of the water is pushing on the air that I blew in. In this system, the pressure I blew into the pipe is canceled by the height difference of the two columns of water. So if we take the specific weight, this is the amount of weight per unit of volume of water, and multiply it times the height difference, we get the amount of pressure the water is pushing on the air. Being the air pressure and the water pressure is equal, this is the same as the air pressure. Looking at the video, we have the end open to the atmosphere with a height of 19.5 inches, and the height at the end I blew into of 11 inches. If we take the difference and convert to meters, we get 0.2159 meters. We can multiply this value by the specific weight of water to get the pressure that I blew at. We get an answer of 2,118 newtons a square meter. This is gauge pressure. If you're like me and thinking imperial, this is 0.307 psi. Now you might be wondering why we didn't include atmospheric pressure in our calculations. Both ends are affected by atmospheric pressure, so we measured the pressure in gauge instead of absolute pressure. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription.